Pleasure to meet you too, Barry. Yes, yeah, so um, in March, I was offered um, a role helping organize the donations with the um, staff in the administrative offices. We really do get to see the positive side of all of this. You know, we meet with these people who are so eager to help you know the the hospital the nurses all the employees uh, you know they drop off we're now accepting food donations so like a prepackaged food so it's it's everything it's you know the personal protective equipment like the masks the gloves gowns and you know food items so they're these people are really happy to help and you know it's kind of a really good way to still bring the community together when we have to be such, you know, so apart. So um, it's really nice that we do get these donations that kind of just, you know, bring a sense of home or a sense of comfort to you, you know? So uh, we definitely really appreciate that. I mean, I think that it's a little bit of both. You got, you kind of have to tough it out. I mean, everybody has to tough it out, um, but definitely like what we're doing now, you know, Skyping, FaceTiming, it's, I'm so thankful that my kids are really uh, great with technology because, you know, that this is right at home for them. You know, they're, they're FaceTiming all the time and on their iPads. So they, you know, they're teaching my mom how to do a lot of the homeschooling, you know, so there's Google Meets and things like that. Um, make the best of it you know yeah i would say definitely um seeing the togetherness that it brings even though we're supposed to be apart um you know i've have more time with my family at home when I get home. Uh, you know, and I try to make, I'm making a better effort to kind of do things with them. You know, we'll take a walk together because we live on, we live on a great street out in Florence where, you know, there's a ton of kids on our street and any given day you will see bikes, skateboards, um, all these different, anything with wheels, it's usually thrown in my lawn and there's about seven to ten kids at my house in the backyard or at the neighbor's house on the trampoline or in the pool Yeah, I get what you're saying. I mean, I, you know, before all this, it's kind of like you get lost in the hustle and bustle, the, the nine to five, you come home, you're stressed, you gotta get dinner going, gotta do this, gotta do that. And then before you know it, you wake up and you're right back at it. And it's almost like that vicious cycle. And I feel like this, you know, situation has broken that cycle. And, you know, I think that in this, a lot of people have realized, you know, the things that there are, that's most important to be grateful for, which is, your life, your, your family, each other, and just being kind. You know, I think that's one thing that we can all take away from this is, you know, kindness is what gets us through it. But just the kindness and giving is what I would really like to see stick with this um, for our communities. Thank you so much.